Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you came back and joined me again. I'm speaking about how to use a spiritual journal to have a quiet time. And the passage that I've chosen for today is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 13, which says, Therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme or to governors as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Well, last week I was talking about you driving on the way to work and thinking about the quiet time you'd had in the morning. This quiet time says that as you're driving to work, you need to obey the law. If you obey the law, you won't ever be afraid of the uh, law enforcement officer that's following you in his car, and you won't uh, uh, have any uh, d delays on your way to work by being stopped. Uh, that's just a minor benefit, but it is a significant one. But if you were to read that passage, the passage that I just read, 1 Peter 2, verse 13, uh, one of the scriptural insights that you might have would be, I am supposed to be a law-abiding citizen and submissive to those who are in proper authority. And so how would you pray? Well, you could pray to the Lord and say, Lord, please forgive me for consistently breaking speed limits. That would be one way. Another way is to say, Lord, help me to remember today to be sober about my life and to obey the law for a change. And as you're going down the road, you'll say, I'm not afraid anymore of being caught. I'm obeying the law, but I'm noticing there's a lot of lawbreakers out there. And uh, you could even make a commitment to yourself and say, starting today, I'll begin driving within the speed limits. And since most of my speeding comes from running late, that means I need to get up a little earlier and get ready on time and uh, plan my schedule, my time better so I won't be running late and that will actually cause me to be more relaxed about my day and when I get to work I'll be much more calm and easier to deal with people because I've not been running around late and trying to defend why am I a few minutes late at the office. Instead, I'll give you a suggestion. You want to spend some good quiet time? Go to work early Get in, get in a quiet place and uh, read your Bible and have prayer there and you'll be very much better prepared for your day. And if you're a little bit early, your boss will notice that and they'll say, I notice you're getting to work on time. In fact, you're early every day. Um, uh, I've got a job that I'm thinking about giving to somebody and it looks to me like you might be somebody I want to consider. I am serious that can happen just by being early, prepared, calm, ready for your day, okay? I'm trying to help you out, so spend time every day, quiet time with God, having prayer, and then apply the Bible to the decisions you make and the way you schedule your time, and you watch, you'll begin to succeed more in life day by day. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.